I took a short trip to San Francisco and Sacramento and here are a few interesting sights I saw. This is Pier 39. There were a lot of windmills uh, at this gift shop here. It was quite windy and cold but if you like windmills you want the high winds and here they have plenty of strong winds maybe like 20 miles an hour and then we went to Lombard Street that's what they call the crookedest street in the world this here is crookedest street and we drove down the street it was narrow winding and you kind of wonder how would people park in the garage and how they would back out with with their car when you have all these tourists driving down the street it's very winding a lot of twists and turns and here in San Francisco there are a lot of hills so when you park you have to make sure you turn your wheel against the curb we went there on an off day weekday so there weren't that many people which was good and then after that we went to Coit Tower it was a little foggy I never went up there before but this time we went up there and we and uh, even though it was foggy we, we did see the whole city and this is Stuart Daly Square where they make a lot of chocolates here and ice cream you can sit down and have some nice ice cream or upstairs they have a takeout place where you can get some ice cream cones you can see the chocolate making machine here and they have a gift shop or a chocolate shop where you can buy all the chocolates they make this is Sacramento the tower bridge this is where you go for the gold so to speak the gold rush started here and we went to Wells Fargo Bank and they have a display of a gold nugget and all the pots and pans where you pan for gold this is the state capital the dome when you look at it it looks like it's concave and then if you look at it long enough it looks like it's convex so it's kind of interesting that's why I took a picture of it and we went to the governor's office this is the bear that Arno put there where I don't know what exactly does that symbolize but there it is and then there was a display of uh, the suffragettes struggle to, struggle to get the vote and I guess a lot of people they go on the wrong side of history I mean there should be no question